Jason, just give us your uh, overall impressions of uh, the 2012 MLS Super Draft. For I think coming out of the draft, we feel uh, probably better than we have since 2008. 2008 was the last time I can remember having a, uh, having two semi-high picks. I mean, we didn't have a super high one like we, like we did that year, and probably would have really liked to have one this year. But with, uh, with 17 and 24, we got two of our two of our best 12 players that we evaluated here, in our opinion, again. So we walk out of this draft and we're very, very pleased with what we got. And I'm excited to get this season started with these guys. Enzo Martinez was a top five player on a lot of the pundits' boards. I don't know where he ranked in the Real Salt Lake board, but talk a little bit about what your expectations are for him, a young player that everybody seems to be very excited about and a little surprised that he fell to 17. He was very, very high on our board as well. And in fact, uh, one of our technical staff rated him the highest here. So. Really, really pleased that he was available. Didn't think there'd be any chance that he would. He's a kid for me that, on the soccer side of things, fits exactly uh, into what we're looking for in our midfield type players. Really dynamic, extremely hardworking, not afraid to get into a tackle. Does well in the attacking third. Uh, so we're really, really pleased with that. And on the, on the personal side of things, on the mental side of things, his interview was a six out of five. It was absolutely fantastic. Very humble kid, comes from a very humble background, and a kind of a story about you know, moving here from Uruguay with his family. And, and it seems to be a kid that really, really wants to succeed at the next level. So we marry those two things together and end up with a, a selection that we're thrilled about. Um, just moving a little more global, probably more turnover with Real Salt, Salt Lake's roster this year than uh, probably any time since 2008, but there are still. I think nine or ten guys that have been around coming in for their fifth year. Talk a little bit about the challenges for you and the rest of the technical staff entering 2012. It's been a difficult time, there's no doubt about it. We've, uh, we've seen a lot of really important players go. We've seen some players that uh, we believed had a, a bright, bright future, and a guy like Warner. We've seen a guy that's been here for a few years. And we drafted extremely high, and you know, see go. So it's been a difficult offseason to see all these players go and kind of wonder how are we going to get better. So it's, we, have our, we have a lot of limitations with the salary cap situation, but it is what it is. And at the end of it all, we've, we've walked out of this offseason with a starting group of 11 if we had to put a starting lineup tomorrow, which I think would compete for a championship. And then we'll have to really work harder this year than I think we have in three or four years as a coaching staff to develop the young players that we have and develop some of the other players that have been here now for one or two years. Everybody's going to need to make contributions this year for Real Salt Lake and some of the guys that haven't made a ton are going to need to take a, take a next step up to the next level. So last question, kind of piggybacking off of that, uh, should Real Salt Lake you know, attain its goals in regular season, open cup, CONCACAF, and obviously the playoffs, that's 50, 52 games on the calendar. Um, at what point are you going to be able, you hope, to interject some of this new young depth uh, onto the field? Yeah, you know, everybody that comes into our preseason will have the exact same opportunity to make the starting lineup for opening day one. Do I think it's a realistic shot? Probably not. I would certainly have my first but I do think we're going to be looking at them all and giving everybody a fair opportunity to show us what they're about. We don't have CONCACAF early this year, which we did last year, so. Last year, I'd say it was a little bit unfair for some guys. They probably didn't get maybe the opportunity that they would have in a different preseason because we knew we needed to stick with the same group going into CONCACAF. So this year, the opportunities will be there. And it will be like anything else, we're going to work real hard to develop the young players, especially these three college players that we've picked. We really, really like them. And there's no hesitation in my voice when I tell you that these guys are the guys that we like and we want to develop. And if we do our jobs right as coaches, we'll hope that they'll all be contributing in some fashion, hopefully major fashion. Great. Thanks a lot, Jim.